This is what more than likely is going to land you at the help desk. I recently had somebody leave a comment on my channel. A dude said, uh, the stuff that Tech G is teaching you can only get you a job starting off at the help desk, right? And it's not going to get you one of those $100,000 a year jobs. Let me just talk about the help desk real quick, in case you guys don't know. That's how I actually got started working in tech was at the help desk. I mean, granted, I was in the army when I was doing it, but doing help desk in the military and doing help desk in the, as a civilian, you're doing the same thing. I mean, it's the same job. Here's the thing, right? I think when people come to YouTube and they're looking up how to get started in tech, what you should do, people advertising all these videos, talking about how you can go from switching careers to now you're making $150,000 a year. I think a lot of people who look at this stuff, I think that they fall into this trance of just believing the money, meaning that somebody says you make 150,000, then these people think, oh, wow, all I got to do is just switch careers and I'm making $150,000 a year. That, that, listen, that's not necessarily how this thing works. You understand what I'm saying? Oftentimes, if you are doing a total career switch where you're going from one profession, doing whatever it is that you was doing to now you're jumping into a totally different profession, doing something totally different that you've never done before. You know, realistically, you can't come in there thinking that you're going to come in at the top, making top notch dollars, you know, make the $150,000 salaries off the jump. That's not realistic in probably 99% of the cases. Oftentimes when you make a total career shift, you're probably going to have to start at the quote unquote bottom to a certain extent. Now, that doesn't mean that you're always going to start off at the bottom, 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 but you guys got to be realistic that you're probably not going to come in making the upper echelon salaries doing a total career shift. Anyway, let's talk about the help desk. So here's the thing, right? Let's just say you do, you switch careers, you go into tech and all you can find is a help desk job or somebody tells you, oh, you're just going to be working at the help desk. This is what more than likely is going to land you at the help desk. If you switch careers and all you do is go out there and get A plus certified or maybe even network plus, but let's just say you go get an A plus certification and that's it. You just get the cert pass the test, get the cert. That's it. You don't have any experience. You don't have anything else, but you have your certification saying that you are good to go with the uh, theoretical knowledge associated with that certification. Well, there's a chance that you're probably going to be starting off at the help desk because essentially you don't know anything else. You don't have any documented experience. You don't have any higher level specialized certifications. You just don't have any of those other things, right? So more than likely, you're going to be starting off at the help desk. And that's what I personally consider the quote unquote bottom of IT. Now, that's not to say that that is a bad thing because I know a lot of people like to look down on the help desk. Listen, when you go to the help desk, there's a lot of stuff that you can learn at the help desk. Obviously, you're going to be dealing with answering phones, dealing with trouble tickets. You might even be out there fixing computers, resetting passwords, plugging up printers, you know, you know, things of that nature, right? The biggest thing that people have to remember, if you do come in at the bottom is you have to make a plan for what you want to do with your tech career within like the next six to 12 months. Like I said, this is really aimed at people who have little to no experience whatsoever working in tech, but all you got is your A plus cert. You have to look at this as this is my chance to get my foot into the door of the tech industry. And this is, this is probably the easiest way to get into tech is through the help desk mind you. Based on my it's almost 21 years of experience, coming in through the help desk is probably the easiest way to get into tech. There are other people that'll tell you, no, you can go do this, you can go do that. And they're right. But the stuff that they teach or what they preach based off of what I've seen over the years is oftentimes way more complicated than it probably should be. But coming in through the help desk with your A plus cert is probably the easiest way to get into tech. Now, once you get into tech, and let's just say you are doing your help desk job, making your 15, 20, $20 an hour, whatever the heck it is they're paying. I know at least down here where I live, I think they're paying people on average like $20 an hour to uh, go out there and do tech. Once you get your foot in the door, now it's up to you to determine exactly what path in IT you want to go. What do you want to do? Where do you want to see yourself in the next 12 months, two years, five years, et cetera, et cetera? Because now once you get up in there, 
You're going to be surrounded or you should be in an environment around other people who've been working in tech longer than you. Depending upon exactly what company you work for and what you do, you might be exposed to cybersecurity personnel. You might be exposed to networking people. You might be exposed to cloud people, database people, whoever the heck is at your company working. You should hopefully get some type of exposure to higher level IT professionals. And then once you get up in there, you uh, assert yourself and show some initiative. Go out there, start making friends, asking questions about how do you do what you do? What was the path that you had to go down to get to a position like yours? Yada, yada, yada. And what you'll discover is more than likely these people will tell you exactly what they had to do to get to where they are to make the big bucks that you want to make.